I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. At one of the LARPs I attend, a lot of people are magic users. And, uh, you know, they're always running around doing healing or doing combat uh, buffs or they're casting elemental spells or doing damage or doing necromancy or all kinds of different magical things. And uh, up until, you know, recently, there's been no sort of wand usage in the game. Now, they've recently added wands to the game. Uh, however, they're wooden sticks and they look just like wands, which for LARP use isn't really that safe. So I'm looking for an alternative to that. And I think that I've come up with an idea. So a lot of times these casters don't have their spell ball or their spell packet or whatever in their hand, you know, and they'll throw it to cast a spell and if it hits you, you take it. Or they'll hold it in their hand and they'll touch you with it. This is their spell components, essentially. Um, however, this hand, or, you know, or if you're left hand and you're doing right, uh, is just idle, you know, and idle hands are the devil's playground. Now, you can hold something in this hand, you can hold a long sword, a short sword, a dagger or something, but to me, a magic user holding a long sword or a dagger or something doesn't really just read mage to me. If you're wearing, you know, robes and all that, you've gone out of your way to put symbols all over your costume and you have a really good looking kit. Holding a sword, it, it's out of place, especially if you want to be just a true magic user. So, I've decided to make a Boffer Safe Wand, essentially. And uh, I'm going to make it using this game's rule set. So before anyone starts going, oh, that looks like shit, American LARPs are shit, you know, it's trash. This is that game's rule set. Um, if it was up to me, I'd make it out of latex and try to make it look good or do Plasti Dip or something and have it looking nice. However, it needs to conform to their rules. Now this particular game has pretty strict rules, so most of the weapons that you make there will pass at any game. I've taken weapons from this game to Dystopia Rising, Nero, and other big name events, and I've never had any issue uh, with using this LARP's construction rules, because if anything, they're overkill on safety. So, if you want to make something like this, uh, here's how we're going to do it. Now, this particular game, it needs to be uh, anywhere between 12 to 18 inches for what they consider to be a cudgel or a sap. And uh, that's basically what I'm going to have this fall under. Uh, because there is no real class for this weapon, I'm going to make essentially a sap that looks like a wand. <laughs> so, what I did was I went ahead and cut a half inch uh, CPVC pipe here and uh, I cut it down to somewhere in between the 12 and 18 this is actually I believe 13 inches because what we're gonna do is we're going to use a pool noodle over top of it and then this game requires there to be two to three inches of open cell foam on the end so this is our wand uh, before we get started with it um, but when we're done, it's going to look a lot different. So, what I'm going to do is start by making sure that this pipe fits inside. So, right now this thing is like a hot dog in a hallway, and uh, that's not going to work for safety reasons. So, I need to take this and fatten it up so that it fits in here uh, more tightly. And then, uh, from there, it's going to be a lot of carving to make this look like a wand. Well, let's go ahead and get started. This, it's not magic, it's not rocket science. I'm gonna wrap duct tape around it until the outside diameter meets this inside diameter. So whenever you're swinging it around, there's no wobble. Let me go ahead and do that first. And uh, then we'll get started on the carving. Instead of wrapping tape around this, which you definitely could do, I'm actually going to use some of this insulation foam that I have. And what I did was I just took and cut a piece off and just eyeballed it. And here it is. And from there, we're just going to insert it into this and use our piece of pipe to stick it through. And this way, it'll fill in the gap real nicely. If only it were this easy in real life. All right, and then from there, we're just going to hold onto this end of the foam and use our piece of pipe <coughs> to make it come out the other side. You may have to work with it a little bit, but you'll get it through. Now 
Okay. Once that's all in there, just work your pipe through to make sure that it's all the way through. And that's going to keep your pipe nice and solid while it's in there. Because the whole goal of this is just to fill that gap from this half inch PVC. If you were using three quarter inch, it would fit in here like a glove. But now, there's no rattling and that's in there. From there, we'll take a little bit more of this and just sort of stuff it in the ends to sort of further conceal that pipe. And some people may say, oh, well, but that foam will break down over time. Well, yes, this is true. All things decay. And in 10,000 years when this foam breaks down, uh, I'll make another one. But if something catastrophic does happen to it, in the meantime, this is why a lot of people make these type of boffers, because for basically $2 worth of supplies, you can make as many as you want. I could probably make five of these out of, you know, one pool noodle, one section of pipe. They're super cheap, so even if I'm using this and I lose it in the woods or something, I don't care. You know, it's going to take me a little bit of time and a couple bucks, and that's it. All right, so now that this is all foamed up, we are good to go. Next step, carving. Now this is where the magic happens. Now, this doesn't really look like a wand. This is weird. Like if I'm pointing this at you, this is weird. It's like I'm waving a cucumber around um, or a giant pickle at you. Very, very weird. Um, this game requires a half an inch of foam. Now the problem is if I measure this, that's a half an inch of foam to the pipe. So, how do we give contours depth and rises out of something that has to remain at least this minimum. Well, one way we're gonna do that is to figure out the grip. Now, the, in this game, where you grasp it doesn't matter and the pommel doesn't need any sort of anything special. So what I'm gonna do is figure out where I would like to hold this. Now, I'm thinking probably right towards the, the very end of it, so we have more length. Yeah. So, I'm going to take, and we're gonna carve out where your hand would go. And that's gonna make this a heck of a lot easier to hold, you know, because for one thing, like, you know, it's freaking thick. Um, and also, it's gonna give it a little bit of, you know, contouring to it as well. Then what we're going to do is it's going to get a little bit fatter here, and then we're going to take some liberties with that two to three inches uh, on the end of it. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna mark this with a Sharpie and we're gonna get carving. Marked off the grip area and all I do is just hold my hand here, run a Sharpie around it. It's gonna be made of wood, so it's organic. Does not have to be perfect, should not be perfect. We wanna have variation in it. So let's go ahead and start carving this down. For this whittling with grandpa section here, we're just gonna use an X-Acto knife and we're just gonna carve it down little by little. Cut away from yourself. Keep your hands out of the way. Do not be cutting fingers off, and if you do, don't try this at home. And then of course we have to attach our two to three inches of foam on the end, and I'm gonna do that temporarily just with spray adhesive, and then that'll hold it on while we're working with it. But we can already see here that this is going to require quite a bit of carving. So I'm going to go ahead and get scissors to actually just cut this into the basic form that I want it to be. Luckily, because we're using a razor blade to saw this off, this is a clean enough project that you can do it in your grandmother's basement and nobody's going to get upset. And so now we have the world's worst torch. But you can see where I glued those additional pieces that we shaved off of it onto the outside. Now from here, depending on how you're doing this, um, you can go in with your knife and you can carve 
all the little lines that you know wood may have in it so that when you plasti dip or latex it that it looks good you can carve grooves into it and stuff this one however is getting duct taped so it's going to be a little bit different um i'm not gonna have to go into that kind of detail so i'm gonna start laying down the duct tape on this And so that's it. <laughs> this is your boffer wand. Experiamus. Abracadabra. Pew pew. That's it. So now, when you're casting spells at your LARP, you can point your wand and then throw your spell. So, it would probably look a little something like this. Magic missile. Just sort of <clears throat> in closing here, make sure that you put some holes in the tip here. I'm just gonna use a seam ripper. Because this is open cell foam, it can compress, and if you don't put air holes, it will compress and stay compressed. And that's a huge hassle to fix later. So now, you're good to go. You can crush this down a little bit if you want to. And uh, there you go. So, American Boffer LARPs. If you need a wand that's gonna fit the rules, this will work for you. It's laughable, but I could block or parry a weapon with this. So if I'm busy spell casting, I could actually use this to block or parry. And maybe even strike back. Um, most games it probably does light or minimum or one point of damage. But, you know, it's better than just standing there with an open hand, you know, on your hip where you're casting spells or whatever it does. At least you have something in your hand now. And, um, you know, it's a wand. So, hey, good deal. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like. Please subscribe to my channel. Be sure to let all your friends know that I'm out here making these crazy videos. Um, I love LARP. I want to share that with you. And hopefully you get some great ideas from my video. If you decide to make one of these, I'd love to see it. If you make it in latex or if your LARP rules are a little more forgiving and you can make a much thinner, much more realistic looking one, I'd like to see that as well. And uh, please don't forget to also share this video. And as always, adventure on. You know, there comes a time when you have to ask yourself, is Max fucking with me? Like, seriously. Is Max fucking with me? Pew! You have interfered in my plans for the last time, adventurers. Now it is time to face my wrath. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What are you laughing at? Oh no, this evil guy's over here pointing a putt at me. It's a wand. <laughs> Stop interfering. What? <laughs> Meteor Storm! <laughs>